Uh, speaking of the capoeira, we were sp talking about uh, how many African champions there are in UFC right now. And of course, we brought up Nganu, Usman, and uh, Adesanya. What did you think of that fight last night? Did you watch it? Oh, yeah, it was great. I, um, to be very honest, I kind of fell asleep a little early because mm -hmm. I put some work in earlier. Sure. You know, and I uh, needed, needed to get that rest. But um, I caught up to it today. And it was, right. It, was, it looked good. It looked good. It was it good. It looked like good you stuff. put on a clinic, that guy. I, re I really thought Vittorio was going to bring a little more, to be honest, you know, but... Adesanya, you look frustrated to me by yeah, round Adesanya, three. Adesanya is ahead of his time, man. He's, yeah, yeah. He's going to be there for a long time. Um, what do you think about the, his move up in weight this early? He went and tried it at, what, I think it was just a little too early. And, and it wasn't the best choice. I mean, look at this big old strong dude yeah, yeah. that you picked to move up on, you know? Like, yeah, man. You know, I think it was a little too early, you know? And, and the, the person just wasn't, you know? Yeah. The, the fight, like, look, people, people think that Connor is this great, awesome fighter because of this and because of that. In the end of the day, Connor did the things that he did because he got the right fights that he needed at the right time. Well, let me ask you, though, the difference in weight between what do they fight at, 185, and then from 185 to what, 205? Yeah. That's 20 pounds. You think they should have another division in between? Yeah, at some point they have to have it, man. It's, they, they, have, they, can, they definitely can afford it already. 20 pounds, man. Yeah, lot, 20 man. pounds. And then you got to think about it like this. Look, for, I'll give you an example, right? I, fight, I fought most of my career at 155. Right. I'm back to 155 right now. Right. I was fighting 145 in the end of my career. Sure. Right? But most fighters that I fought could never do 145. So just imagine the size of them. Yeah. Right? How big they are. They can never do 45. I could do 45, 55. Mm -hmm. right? So there's 185ers that can never do, I mean, uh, 205ers that can never do 185. No. So these dudes are huge. You know, so you have that 20 pound difference That's in the weight class, but you don't know how much they're coming down from. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then when you start the grappling and the wrestling, that's when it takes effect, you know? I want to get back to the, uh, we, we were talking about the baboon, how you got that name. Tell me some more about the capoeira, how you got so, that name. So capoeira, uh, when, when, I, when I came to, to Miami, I came to Miami from Cali. I got here at the age of 13, going on 14. From Cali? And from California, yeah. Okay. When I first came from Peru, I landed in California. I did boxing for three years. Once my father went to prison, my mom had to move on. Uh, we came to Miami. And when we came to Miami, I couldn't find a boxing gym anywhere. So... My mom was not going to let me go, like, on three buses, like, an hour and a half. I don't know where mm -hmm. to get to the boxing gym, where we were living, you know? And then the gang activity, you know, it was, it was crazy. So I found a friend of mine named Mickey. And okay. Mickey, Mickey was training with Cesar Carnero, which is the head coach for MMA Masters. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And, and he told me, you know, no, I, I do capoeira, you know? Like, and back in Cali, I used to box, uh -huh. and I used to break dance. So then he like, yeah, okay. you know, and he showed me the video of only the strong, you know, yeah, there, you know yeah, yeah. a lot of acrobatics and the fight. I'm like, man, that's kind of cool. And I went and tried it out with him. So when Mickey took me to meet Cesar, Cesar wasn't here. Cesar was in Thailand filming the movie The Quest with Van Damme. Ah. So I never met Cesar. Okay. In that time. At that? At that time, I met uh, Mestre, you call him Master, right? Mestre Van de Ley. And Mestre Van de Ley was a guy that was in charge of Cesar's group while he was filming. Okay, was MMA Masters already formed by that time? No, no. nowhere near existence. All right. okay. Nowhere near existence. So this is like way back, Cesar even became a, a MMA trainer. Cesar became an MMA trainer through me. Oh, okay. Okay, as the years passed. So in that time, I hadn't met Cesar yet. I met Dele. Dele opened his own group called Aboli Sound, meaning abolition. Right. And Aboli Sound's logo was this right here. Oh, I see, the baboon. Uh huh. And I was the first one out of the group because when, when he told me that Cesar was coming back, I had already been training with him for like about eight months, a year. You know, it was six to, six to eight months, you know. And he said, look, Cesar's coming back. I know you came here looking for him, but I'm going to be moving on, starting my own group. You know, you can go ahead and meet him now and start training with him. I said, no, I started with you. I'm yeah, going to finish gonna with you. Yeah, I'm going to remain with you. All you right. know, yeah, you know, I started with you. I'm going to finish with you. I haven't even met him yet. Mm -hmm.